Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and in today's video we're going to talk about what to wear instead of shorts when you have thick thighs and you are petite. This is a requested video by a lot of viewers who watched my video, 7 Petite Apple Shaped Body Summer Style Hacks to Look Thinner. A lot of you reached out to me after that video and said you're not comfortable wearing shorts, you don't like how your thighs look, but you still want to look nice and put together, and could I offer some suggestions? So I did my research and I have come up with three suggestions for you. Some of the items I cannot modify myself because I don't own them because I personally do like wearing shorts. In the instances where I have the item, I will show me modeling it, but sometimes I will have to use a model, a photo of somebody, and if I can't find like a petite person, I'm just going to put a photo up of what the item looks like maybe on a smaller person and just trying to do my best to sort of help you visualize what the item is going to look like. I'm not going to run out and buy an item just to make a video because that's wasteful. So if you're interested in seeing what my options Options to wear instead of shorts when you have thick thighs and you are petite. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So the first suggestion that I have for you is pants. And when you're shopping for pants, just try and remember this. Light attracts, dark distracts. So always go for a darker color on the bottom when you're shopping for your bottoms. Go for solids like black, brown, or navy. They're going to be the most flattering when you're trying to conceal a larger thigh. And if you're shopping for jeans, I would go with a dark wash or a black jean. I know from my own personal experience when I have worn like a lighter wash jean in the summertime it can make my thighs look larger than what they are. I would avoid details like sequins, rivets, floral designs. Just go for plain and flat. Any embellishments on the jeans are going to bring attention to it and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to distract and you want to pick bottoms that are slim and smooth all the way around and by smooth I mean you don't want a lot of pockets. Remember when we were younger they had those jeans they were all the rave. I I think they were called like carpenter's pants and they had tons of pockets and they had like hoops on them where you know a carpenter would hang his hammer. Stay away from anything like that. I would look for ankle pants, culottes, lightweight joggers that are not cuffed at the bottom. You want the bottom open, no cuff. Avoid capris and I know that this is a hot topic. A lot of women love their capris and if you love them that's great but they don't work for everybody because they cut at the thickest part of the shin and it's just not a good look. If you want to wear a capri or some sort of a short type of pant that isn't a short, I would go for something that is cut right at the knee, right below the knee or at the ankle. I would avoid anything that is cut between the knee and the ankle because it's just going to make your legs look larger and shorter as well. If you want to go with pants with stripes, make sure that they're vertical and I would go with stripes that are smaller and dark shades. I typically would never have bought this pair of pants that I'm showing you. I bought them at Old Navy and they have vertical stripes and I actually like them because you can see that it makes my leg look a lot longer and leaner than what it actually is. I have a very short inseam. I think my inseam is like 26. I have a longer torso so I need all the help that I can get. And as you can see I have these pants paired with some nude sandals and just adding the nude sandal helps to make my leg look even longer because it extends the vertical stripe. If you haven't watched my summer style hacks video go and check it out because I show you side by side the difference between wearing a flesh toned sandal and a black sandal and a lot of you wrote to me and said wow that was really eye-opening that you had never thought of that before. Try and stay away from busy prints because that's going to draw attention to your legs. I would also follow these principles whenever you're looking for skirts and as far as the bottom you want to go with a wide leg bottom. Don't go with a tight fitting bottom. Try and find pants that start out wide and slightly taper down at the ankle so it balances out your leg because if you have a thicker thigh you don't want the bottom skin tight because that's going to really make your thigh look larger but if you have a wider cut at the bottom it just kind of makes the leg look you know pretty natural and in balance. You want to look for boot cut or straight cut pants and if you're buying jeans you want the jean material to be stretchy and not stiff. You want it to flow with your body as your body moves and again stick with darker solid colors. So the second option that I have for you and if you don't want to wear shorts are skirts. You want to wear skirts that end at the knee. You want to show off the smallest portion of your leg so that is below the knee. I would stick to the same principles as above. I would stick with darker colors, vertical stripes, and the pants. I want to mention this. This may not work for every body. Like I can get away with it but if you have larger thighs than me it may not work for you and it's one of those um, suggestions that isn't going to work for everybody 
body, but it's worth giving it a try instead of, you know, just wearing all dark all the time if you could find something with a stripe. But again, you're going to have to try it on and use your best judgment on whether you like it or not. It's all about you and you feeling good in your clothes. That's the whole point is I want you to feel good. You also want to stick with a skirt that doesn't have a lot of fabric because if it has tons and tons of fabric, that's just going to make you look larger. And midi skirts are skirts that end just above or just below the knee. They're going to cover your thighs and they're going to make your leg look thinner. The next option that I have for you when you don't want to wear shorts because you have thick thighs and are petite are dresses. I love a dress. I wear a dress probably 75% of the time in the summer. They're just so easy. For length of the dress, this is going to be important whenever you have large thighs that you want to conceal. You want a midi length dress that falls just below the knee and at the top of the calf. You want to make sure that it's not cutting you in the middle of the calf like a capri pant would. Try and choose a dress that has a v-neck because the v-neck is going to elongate this part of your body but it's also going to draw the eye up to this part of the body and away from the thigh area. And you know in your v-neck play it up with some color and some fun. You could have you know little flowers like this top does. I really like this top. It's very flattering. I will link it below. It has like a nice little flutter sleeve. It has these tiny little flowers on them, but I like it because the back of the top is dark. It's navy, but then there's, you know, these white and lighter blue flowers. So it's a nice fun top. Maxi dresses are hit and miss. If you're going to get a maxi dress, try and get one for a petite, but I know they're next to impossible to find. Maybe if you know a good seamstress or you can sew, you might be able to hem it yourself. You really have to try it on. It's one of those things like one rule doesn't fit all and one rule never fits all right they're just suggestions because we always want to distract on the bottom and play it up on the top and as far as shoes I would pair it with a flesh toned shoe because you can see from the example that I showed you in my summer style hacks video it really does make a difference wearing a flesh toned sandal or shoe so to recap instead of wearing shorts if you have thick thighs we talked about pants we talked about skirts and we talked about dresses all of these are merely suggestions you're really gonna have to just try things on yourself and see how they look and feel for you because every body is different I do have some bonus style tips you always want to accentuate your upper body when you have a larger belly or larger thighs and one of the ways you can do this so easily is just by wearing a v-neck because crop necks, you know, that cut us here, they just make us look really big here. But then if you have a round face like I do, it just makes my face look a lot bigger. So a v-neck or even like a scoop neck. And sometimes you can get crew necks now where, you know, it's not cut here. It's maybe cut here. Sometimes they're okay, but you really have to try it on for yourself. Go with maybe brighter colors on top, like a cute little print. I would still stay away from like loud, loud prints. They're gonna make anybody look larger, but you don't have to wear like all black or all navy from head to toe. Have some fun on the on your top part. Boring on the bottom, party on the top. You might want to accessorize with some nice earrings. Dangling earrings are nice. Some nice little hoops. They lengthen this area. Uh, necklaces, I would recommend not wearing a necklace that falls below about here because when we are shorter, if we wear dangling necklaces that fall and hit us like right below the bust, that's hitting us like right in the bullseye. Especially for me, that is my problem area, my belly. So I always go for necklaces that would fall about here or here. Nothing tight around the neck either. That is not a good look for me. And whenever you're styling your bottom, say if I'm wearing dark jeans, I would probably try and match my shoes to a dark shoe or dark booty. It's just going to make your leg and your foot all look like it becomes one. It's going to make you look a couple inches taller. If you're wearing a sandal, I recommend going with a shoe or a sandal that is flesh toned. Again, you just want your foot, your shoe, everything to blend into the leg to make you look taller. I don't like a pointed toe, but if you do, they're great to elongate the leg. I like a rounded toe and like not a big rounded toe. I mean like, you know, a small rounded toe, just that it doesn't have that 
point at the end. So I hope that you found my alternatives for what to wear instead of shorts when you have thick thighs helpful. If you did, be sure to give my video a like. Check out my playlist for petite women and women with apple-shaped bodies. I have lots of style hacks in that playlist of videos. And if you do enjoy wearing shorts, go and check out my video, Seven Petite Apple-Shaped Body Summer Style Hacks to Look Thinner. Thanks for your time and have a great day. Bye.